detail of blamer saying, there must be no future for those that signed to the Prophet of Islam. That means this video will probably be pulled off. So I'll be directing my attention to this video. And when I use my words, I'll be using this side of my face. When I use the Muslims' words, that side of my face. Okay. I'll continue with this from a book together I put together uh, from a book I put together called uh, the Quran says what okay all right and um, I call this guy Huey Freeman I call him that because uh, he uses a uh, well the guy who yeah uh, he, well, I think he's African American Muslim, and uh, he might be a Muslim, even though he might also be a black guy who worships a blamer, and thus might be just might be a black guy or a liberal. It's hard to tell. Uh, he uses a cartoon face of the angry little uh, black boy Huey uh, Huey Freeman from the Boondocks uh, comic series as his avatar. Uh, this little exchange occurred on a video about Oblamer, supposedly putting a reporter in his place. When the reporter asked why Oblamer was celebrating a deal with Iran, when he, Oblamer, uh, pretty much surrendered everything to terrorist Iran, he had nothing to return. Oblamer uh, let Iran have $150 billion, which can easily... Uh, be used as hush money, hush money in case they uh, find anything. It can be used for terrorists. He also gave Iran 24 days to hide evidence of a nuclear problem, uh, um, letting Iran keep the hostages without getting anything in return, as I said. Anyway, this is what the guy says. Could be a black man. All I know is he uses, he uses the avatar of uh, Huey Freeman. I think that's his name, yeah. There's a jackass and never cried. You never know who they are until they open the mouth to speak. It's on the video. Obama scolds CBS reporter Major Garrett. Major Garrett. Then someone says, exactly. Who knows who it is, whatever. Who, who knows? Who, yeah, who knew? Who knew? Who know who it is whenever Obama starts to speak? And someone said, boom shakalaka. Then another one said, to the possible black Muslim. So you don't think anyone should ask questions Obama doesn't like? Obama had not had nothing about the had nothing about the sausages. You stink. Quote, you should know better. Why should we know better? Up yours yeah. So that to that guy. Then uh, another one said, Well that's just a lot if anyway, um then finally the guy jumps in and says the black guy jumps in. Yeah. Another one said, well, that's just like your opinion. Yeah. Done nothing, so we know every, everything that happens behind. Okay, and then the black Muslim says this. It was a press conference, to the rabbit. A question, that was, a question and response session. Of course, you, you can ask the president questions. If I'm going to ask you a question about hostages, that's all uh, I'm going to do. And I'm, and I'm not going to... I'm not going to accuse you by certain that you feel one way or the other about it. And then I say, like a blamer. But apparently lying isn't seen as being a jackass to a liberal. You have no idea what you're talking about. What? You mean you do care that a blamer lies without shame? Luckily enough, that jackass was already given a speech. <laughs> yeah, that jackass is the. Uh, oh, excuse me. Someone said to the black Muslim, said, luckily enough, that jackass was already giving the speech. <laughs> the jackass was the one whom the president embarrassed. How did he embarrass him? In other words, how did he embarrass Major Garrett? That jackass could expect the president to tuck tail and run from the question. Instead, the president explained why the negotiation process was not tied to the release of the hostages, which would have made everything that much more difficult. And then that got the other guy saying, well, he did run from the question. 
uh, the first thing he did was blame the journalist for asking it, and you can tell he was ill-equipped to answer it. If he was honest with his answer, he would have had to stop, think about what he was going to say, and in the process, just, and then proceed, proceed to stutter his way through it. When you don't show confidence in your answer, that generally means you either don't know the answer or you're lying. That's another method of dodging a question. And I say, and then I ask, uh, much more difficult, you ask? Yeah, much more difficult. If you mean much more difficult in not letting Iran have everything it wanted, then perhaps so. And that would have been a bad thing to not let Iran have everything it wanted. It still got it anyway, because that makes no sense, whatever. Now you're talking out of your ass. It's talking to me here. At least I was making sense. You people are ridiculous. Well, how is rewarding bad, beha bad behavior like a blamer did by letting Iran keep the hostages and have 24 hours to hide stuff? I, I mean, Iran letting hostages go would have been worse, you say. Explain, homie. You know as little about the hostage crisis in Iran as you do about the anatomy of a wildebeest. You hope? Quite frankly, it would have make no it it wouldn't make any difference to what the president does. Because I'm a white devil? You sure about that? You'd still be against him because of personal reasons. Hey. It's not his brilliant black half I can't stand. It's his stupid terrorist Muslim appeasing white half that allowed Iran to have hundred and fifty billion dollars I can't stomach, especially being that he not only thought it was fine that Iran hold on to hostages by not including them in the deal, but by rewarding Iran with 24 days to hide evidence. Get lost! Okay, homie. Will do. And never heard from him again after that. Let's see, how much time do I have left here? Let's see here. Five more minutes. Yeah. Hope I can remember to stop because if it goes over 15 minutes, they won't upload it. Okay. All right. Wrong one. Oh yeah. Okay. Othman versus Nelnyazmar round two. Did Yeshua spoke Greek or English during his ministry? He spoke Aramaic. The thing is, the Quran says he was given a book called the Gospel, and since Gospel is a Greek word, and since the Quran says Allah only sends books to prophets in their own language, well, how come the book given to Isa is called Angel or Gospel? You know, shouldn't good news, which is what Gospel means in Greek, be called something other than Gospel or Angel, since it was Aramaic, Yeshua spoke. Think, O oh, slave, the best of deceivers. Think. If not, why rely on the, the said language translations? Can't believe that God could have got people to translate words from uh, Aramaic into Greek and create the New Testament in Jill. I take it that you don't believe uh, Aramaic can be translated true? It's so important to know that the Hebrew and Greek letters that were found are only translations that were written 150 to 300 years after Jesus. And so, you feel God couldn't have had the Aramaic translated into Greek because it is important to know that Jesus did not speak Greek. And if he did speak Greek, well, what is the point of your argument? Where in the book before scriptures that Elohim only sends books to prophets in their uh, own languages uh, I thought that was only a Quran thing again yeah yeah again where in the book before scriptures does it say that Elohim only sends books to prophets in their own languages I thought that was a Quran thing and again if the Quran is right why is the book given to Isa called by a Greek word when he spoke um, Aramaic Think, I'll say the best of Think. 
So therefore the Greek letters are nothing but a translation which could have many faults in it from Aramaic to Greek. If you don't believe God is but working all things with glory and counsel of his will, like the angel says, then you could be right. Same, same applies to Hebrew. When you, translate a when you translate a doctrine that was written hundreds of years after the fact into another language, then you can't really claim that uh, your sources are 100% correct. Never heard of the Dead Sea Scrolls? They're older than the Injil New Testament. Yet the meaning of the Old Testament matches the meaning of the Old uh, Testament of the Dead Sea Scrolls. So, you sure you sure you sure such care going into the translation of the Old Testament didn't go into the New Testament as well. How do you know? As a matter of fact, claiming fifty percent would be even too much. It says who? If you don't believe in a personal God working all things the glory and counsel of his will, aren't you being generous there? Aramaic language, Semitic languages closely relate to Hebrew, and yet you believe Aramaic can't be translated into Greek. How do you know? Originally, the language of the Ar Arameans, the Aram, uh, it was used in many dialecto di dialectical forms. In Mesopotamia <clears throat> and Syria, 1000 BC, and later because the lingua franc of franc uh, the Middle East, uh, see As Asro Babylonian. Assyro Babylonian language, Aramaic survived the fall of Nineveh, 612 BC, and Babylon, 500, 5, uh, 539 BC, and remained the official language of the Persian Empire, 539 through 537 BC. Ancient inscriptions in Aramaic haven't, uh, have, have, have have been found over a vast area extending from Egypt to China. Before the Christian era, Aramaic had become the language of the of the Jews in Palestine. Jesus preached in Aramaic and the parts of the Old Testament and much of the rabbinical uh, literature were uh, were written in that language, Christian Aramaic, usually called Syriac also developed in an, ex an extensive literature, especially from the 4th to 7th centuries. Aramaic began written in that, Aramaic began to decline in the 7th century AD. Aramaic survives today in Eastern and Western dialects, mostly as the language of Christians living in a, a few scattered communities in Syria, Lebanon, Turkey, Iraq, and Iran. Apparently enough of it survived for Mel Gibson to make the whipping well, passion of the Christ. Again, if the Quran is true about all, only giving books to prophets in their own language, then how come the book given to Isa is called the Gospel or Injil? Not an Aramaic word, but a Greek word for good news. How come? Think, O slave the best deceivers. Think. I think that's... I've got to quit here. Oh, I better... Yeah, bye.